everyone. This time we will review the different types of function and how to find its domain and range. Please subscribe on my channel. Different types of function. What is the domain of the given function? The domain is the set of all the values of x. So that's the domain. So like for example, find the domain of f of x equals 3 over x plus 7. So your domain here, so ang makapa zero sa denominator. So the set of all real numbers except negative 7. Why if you substitute negative 7 here, negative 7 plus 7 is equal to 0. Your domain here, all the values of x such that x must not be equal, not equal to negative 7. This is not equal, not equal to negative 7. So that is the domain, the possible values of your x. So all real numbers except 7. For the range, that is the possible value of y after you substitute the x. So here, since you have the equation here, 3 over x plus 7, so the value of your y, your y is not equal to 0. So the range here, hindi gid siya mag 0. All the values, all the numbers except 0. Your y, your range here, your y, must not be equal to zero. The types review on the different types of function. So we have constant function. We have the identity function, polynomial function, absolute value function, square root function, rational, greatest integer function, and the piecewise function. It's a function with a range of which consists of a single number k. So constant. Okay, constant from the word constant function y equals y equals 5 or f of x equals 5 so whatever the value of your y, your x here from 0 to negative this is negative 3 negative 2 many negative 1 so your y is always 5 and this is the graph so this is a constant function y equals 5 Another, what is the constant function of this graph? You are looking for this graph. Can in a graph? So many siya. So here, this is negative 1, negative 2. So y here is equal to negative 2. So, or f of x is the same as y equals negative 2. What is the domain? The domain of the constant function is all the real numbers. And the range is the constant. So, here, so if this is the given example, your domain here, ang imong domain ani, all the real numbers. X is an element of the real numbers, all real numbers. Ang imong range ani, your y is equal to range. Range here, y is equal to negative 2. That is a constant. Okay. So we have next is identity function. Identity function is mo ni siya ang y is equal to y is equal to x whatever the value of x mo po the value sa y so or f of x or i of x is equal to x so the domain is the set of real numbers and the range is the identity function is also a set of real numbers mo na siya sa identity function so example here passing through 0 0 if your x your x is 0, 0 for the young y. If your x is 1, 1, 1, 2, 2. So the graph, this is the graph passing through the origin. Your domain here, your domain, the set of all real numbers, set of all x such that x an element of the real numbers. Wala siya domain. Ang imong range here, set of all y such that y is an element of the real numbers. So wala siya domain and range. Polynomial function. So, a polynomial siya with the leading coefficient. And ang leading coefficient in the form of a sub n, a sub n minus 1, and so on until the constant. So, a kung constant siya, ang degree niya 0. A constant man siya, like y equals 5. Wala may degree ang constant. For linear function, the degree is 1. 1 yung degree. Quadratic man siya, 2, 3 kay cubic, quartic 4, uh, quintic 5, and so on. 
So we have an example of a linear function. This is an example. This is a graph y equals x plus 3. So magama ka ng table of value. Magama ni mong table of value, you may get a portion x na 0, negative 1, negative 2. Ang domain niya is the real numbers. All real numbers di siya. Same with the, the range. Range is range the set of all y such that y is an element of the real numbers. Okay, that's for linear. So we have here the domain. Mananishang domain niya, all real numbers. And the range is all real numbers. Ayun na siya linear. Si quadratic, remember quadratic, you have y equals x squared. When you squared 0, diba 0? When you squared 1, 1 po na siya. When you squared 0, squared 0. 1 squared, 1. 2 squared, it's 4. Same with negative. Negative 0 squared, 0. Negative 1 squared is positive. Negative 2 squared, positive 4. So that's why wala iya mo siya negative y nga value from 0, 0. So you have 1, 1. Kung 2 imo hang x. Here, ang imo domain ani, all real numbers. Element of the real numbers. But your range here, ang imong range, the set of our y such that y is greater or equal to 0. Apil si 0. Okay, here. Okay. This is for quadratic na po na siya. Ah, pwede siya i-substitute ni mo using ang range. Wakay problem kay all real numbers. But your range here, ang imong range pwede ka mag-solve. Kani siya. Still remember the quadratic formula? This is 4, 4ac minus b squared over 4a. Mawani siya ang uh, equation. Remember, if you have a quadratic uh, i greater or equal to k. So y is equal to greater or equal to 4. Kila may a ni mo. Kani a? 4ac minus b squared over 2a. Ato sa lai sub 4a. So, y is greater or equal to 4. Pilay A. A ni mo ane 4. Ha? Your A ni mo 5, brother. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 5. Okay. So, 5. Narang A, o. Oh. Mama ni siya. A x squared plus B x plus C. Wala tay X nga variable to zero ra mo ha. Ah, sorry, sorry. Ako ang writing pad. Okay. 4 times 5. A ang 5. Ang B ni mo wala. Ah. B. A, C man ay. Dili man siya B. 4 A, C. Your C here. Mani siya ang C. This is your C. Wala kay B. So, 4 times 2 minus B squared. 0 squared. Over, sorry, 4A. Mauta ko lang yun. 4 times 5. Your A here, A equals 5. Your C is equal to 2. Wala kay B, 0. Okay? So Y is greater or equal to, pinaman ni 20 times 2, 40. Diba? 40. 40. Wala na ng 0. 40 over 20. So, y is greater or equal to 2. Money is imong domain. You need to solve. So, ang imong domain rather is the set of all real numbers. Of the real numbers. But your range here, ang imong range, set of all y such that y is greater or equal to positive 2. Up is the cubic. For cube, remember when you cube negative 1, negative 1 multiply 3 times, negative 1 siya na siya. Negative 2, imong i-cube, negative 8 po na siya. So that's why we have here. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 8. So na siya part sa graph, which is in the negative, positive, negative value of your y. So positive. So man siya example of a cubic. Cubic is part of the polynomial. Ang imong domain o range ani, uh, range here such that x is a uh, y y y is an element of the real numbers.
Okay, next, absolute value function. Remember, ang absolute value is always positive. Okay, distance na siya from 0 to any number in the number line. From 0 to positive 3, 3 units po. So that's why the absolute value is always positive. Okay, distance na siya from 0 to any number in the number line. So the domain here is all real numbers here. And the range na negative. So including 0, from 0 to positive infinity. So here is an example. Malaysia example. Uh, absolute value is always positive. Absolute value is 0, 0. 1, but negative 1, positive 1. So yung graph is open going up. More siya B. So ang domain here is the real number. Ang range niya, f of x or y is greater or equal to 0. You can see 0 from 0 to positive infinity. Okay, graph in one Cartesian plane of an absolute value. So here's the graph. If you have like this na absolute value na I plus A inside the absolute value sign, you shift the graph A units to the left. But if you have minus A, shift the graph A units to the right. Na put side, the absolute value is plus B outside. So simply shift the graph B units upward. But if minus B, B units downward. So let's have an example here. This one. Nag minus 1 siya niya, plus 1. So when your x here is 0, kung 0 ni siya, di ba negative 1? The absolute value of negative 1 is 1. Plus 1, 2. So kung 0, 2. Mali siya, oh, 0, 2. But if this is 1, 1 minus 1, 0. So 1, siya. So itibog siya. So your... Domain is the set of real numbers and your range is from negative 1 greater than or equal to negative 1. Another example here, naman siya negative, negative of x minus 2, absolute value minus 2. So if your x here is 0, naman na siya, so mahin mo siya, negative 3, absolute value, but napa may negative outside, so negative 3 minus 2, negative 5. So here, Negative 3, negative 5. So, asa naman? Kani? Kung 0 imong x, negative 5 imong y. This point. Okay. So, iyang graph ani. Here is the graph. And then, your domain is the set of real numbers. Ang imong range. Y is less than or equal to negative 2. Okay. Na function. Remember, there's no square for a negative number. So, that's why. Maunis siya domain. Greater or equal to zero, and your range is greater or equal to zero. That is for y. So that is for square root. We have the square root of the square root of x minus three. So x must be greater or equal to three. One yung domain, diba? Okay, there's if this is one. 1 minus 3 is negative 2 man siya. There's no square root of a negative 2. It's the square root. Greater, less than or equal to the square root of 9. Plus minus, less than or equal to plus minus 3. Okay, ka square root sa 9 kay plus minus 3. Okay? But for y here, I am y greater or equal to zero. Okay, next. Rational. Uh, okay, then it's rational. Ang makapa zero lang sa denominator. So if this is one over five, your x domain ni mo must not be equal to. So yung makapa zero niya. Zero. Iba. Kung zero, x must not be equal to zero here. So, ano na siya? Na siya minus siya. Your x must not be equal to 5. The range here, f of x must not be equal to 0. Ang makapa 0 sa denominator, that is for rational. So, an integer function less than or equal to the given number. 
So first of all, you are looking for only for an integer and that integer must be less than or equal to the given number. So here, na siya bracket. You want the greatest one. Isod siya sa bracket. So for example, the greatest integer function 1.97 is equal to 1. So there are many integers less than 1.97. We have 1, 0, negative 1, and so on, negative 4. Of all of them, 1 is the greatest. Daghan siya less than ba? Si 1 may pinaka dako sa mga less than. Moral boundary sa upper and lower bound. So like negative 1.97, negative 2. There, there are many integers less than negative 1.97. So of all of them, negative 2 is the greatest. Okay. Greatest integer kanisha. Nashay 1.9999, but not exactly 2. Do lang siya ni 2, mo nang open 2, but appeal si 1, including 1. So na, na broken with ang dili siya continuous, not continuous ang graph here. Kay like kani from 0 to 1. So it can be 0 0.999, but close ni 1, but including 0. So uh, at least, pinakagamay, kani kay 0 0.999, not equal to 1 man sa. That is the greatest integer function. So the domain and the range of the greatest integer function is a set of all real numbers, and the range are the set of integers. Another is the piecewise function. Can is the piecewise function applicable this is a programming? Nasa limitation ba? So f of x is equal to x squared if x is less than 2. So kung x ni mo less than 2, like for example 1, so kani ni mo ang gamito na equation, 1 squared is equal to 1. But if x is equal to 2, 6 ang ni mo ang y. But if x is greater than 2 but less than or equal to 6, so, gika ni 2 nga open to 6. Now, when x is less than 2, so kani mo nga biton. When x is exactly 2, it gives 6. When x is greater than 2 or more than 2 but less than 6, so we will use this one. There is a piecewise function. So, this is the graph. Nasay. So, the domain of the piecewise function is the set of all real numbers. So in this example, from negative infinity to 6, close. Appeal to 6. So, ang iyahang set dollar notation can be less than 6. Less than or equal to 6. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and watch my other math tutorials.